Hello everyone. This is Emily from the Youth Services Department at the Lynchburg Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us for our very first session of Summer STEAM. We will be posting a new Summer STEAM video every Thursday from today, June 11th, until Thursday, July 30th at 10.30 a.m. right here on our YouTube channel. We have so many awesome programs planned for you guys this summer. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and our website, lynchburgpubliclibrary.org, for more information and for a complete schedule of all of our exciting virtual events. Today's STEAM activity will combine science and art. We're going to learn more about heredity, genes, recessive and dominant traits, and more. Then we are going to apply that knowledge to create our very own baby aliens. Before we start today's STEAM activity, I have a small challenge for you guys. Are you watching this video with any members of your family? If so, I challenge you all to take a good look at each other. See what traits you have in common. Maybe you have the same eye color as your dad. Maybe you have the same hair color as your mom. What do you and your siblings have in common? This fun and simple activity is a great introduction to genetics. Now, we're going to build on that knowledge with our Baby Alien Generator project. Here is the list of materials you will need for this activity. For this activity, you will need the Alien Genetics handout which can be found on the Lynchburg Public Library Facebook page, two coins, it doesn't matter if they're pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, or any other coin that has one side that's heads and one side that's tails, pencil, a piece of paper, and crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Now, let's review the key concepts for this STEAM activity. First up is heredity. Heredity is the passing on of biological traits or characteristics from parents to their offspring or children through the inheritance of genes. Genes are the basic physical and functional unit of heredity. Genes are made up of DNA, which is the carrier of genetic information. Every person has two copies of each gene, one inherited from each parent. Most genes are the same in all people, but a small number of genes, less than 1% of the total, are slightly different between people. The genotype is the genetic constitution of an individual organism. The phenotype is the set of observable characteristics of an individual resulting from the interaction of its genotype with the environment. In other words, the phenotype is the physical or visible expression of the genotype. There are two types of traits, dominant traits and recessive traits. Dominant traits are traits that only require one copy of the same gene to show up as a phenotype or a visible trait. Recessive traits are traits that require two copies of the same gene to show up as a visible trait or phenotype. When an organism is heterozygous for a specific trait, that means it has a dissimilar pair of genes for that particular hereditary characteristic. Before you start today's STEAM lesson, you will need to find the Alien Genetics handout on the Lynchburg Public Library Facebook page. Once you find the handout, you can either print it out or just keep it pulled up on your computer screen for reference. I apologize, I know the handout is hard to see on this video, so I will go ahead and read you the steps for the experiment at the top of the handout. Be sure to follow along if you have already printed out your copy. Alien Genetics, make your own baby alien. For each of the below traits, you will flip two coins to determine what trait your baby alien will have. The two coins represent the parent aliens. 
one for Papa Alien and one for Mama Alien. Each parent is heterozygous for each trait, meaning that each parent has dissimilar pairs of genes for each hereditary characteristic. Heads equals the dominant gene. And tails equals the recessive gene. Remember that the dominant gene needs to show up only once to show up as the phenotype or the observable characteristic. If you flip two heads or one heads and one tails for a particular trait, the dominant trait prevails. This means that both parent aliens present the dominant trait for each of the below traits because they each have a genotype or genetic constitution made up of one dominant gene and one recessive gene. The only time your baby alien will present a recessive trait is if you flip two tails for that particular trait because recessive traits require two copies to show up as the phenotype. Before we begin officially flipping our coins for each of the below characteristics, let's do a test flip or two. My first flip resulted in a tails. My second flip resulted in a heads. What does this mean for the genotype and phenotype of the baby alien for this particular trait. Remember, if you flip one heads or two heads, the dominant trait prevails. I flipped one heads and one tails. Will the dominant trait or recessive trait be the one presented by the baby alien? Right, the dominant trait wins out this time. Had I flipped two tails, the recessive trait would have been the winner. Let's take a look at the different traits we are flipping for for our baby aliens today. Eyes, nose, ears, mouth, arms, fingers, legs, toes, skin, and hair. That's 10 different characteristics that we're going to be flipping for. Remember, we're flipping two coins one to represent Papa Alien and one to represent Mama Alien for each of the below traits. In these columns, you will note the Mother Alien genotype and the Father Alien genotype. You will notice that all of these genotypes are composed of one capital letter, which stands for the dominant trait, and one lowercase letter, which stands for the recessive trait. In this chart over here, you can see what the dominant and recessive traits correspond with for each of the characteristics. For eyes, the dominant trait is two eyes. The recessive trait is one eye. For the nose, two nostrils is dominant, and three nostrils is recessive. 
please look over the rest of the chart to see what the dominant and recessive traits are. Remember, in order to figure out which trait your baby alien will have, you will need to flip both coins. Both parents are contributing one dominant trait and one recessive. Let's go ahead and do our official coin toss for the first trait on our chart, eyes. Remember, as I am doing my coin flips, you should be doing your own, so your results will likely be different from mine. Let's flip the first coin. I got tails. What did you get? For my second coin toss, I got heads. What did you get? So for my baby alien genotype, for the trait of eyes, I will need to put one capital E and one lowercase e. In the phenotype column, I will write the corresponding physical expression of the genotype. Here's how you read this chart. If you flip one heads and one tails, or two heads, you will select the dominant trait for your baby alien. Did anyone get two tails for eyes? If you did, you will need to select the recessive trait. I flipped one heads and one tails, so I will select the dominant trait, which is two eyes. Let's do a few more coin tosses together before you break out on your own and complete the chart by yourself. The next trait we are flipping for is nose, specifically the number of nostrils. Let's flip our first coin. I got heads for my first coin toss. What did you get? I got heads again. My genotype is going to look a little different than my last one. So for nose, the letter we are using to represent the dominant and recessive genes is N. Now, I flipped two heads. So am I going to use two uppercase Ns, one uppercase and one lowercase, or two lowercase? Right, two uppercase ends. Remember, if you flipped two heads or one heads and one tails, you need to select the dominant trait, two nostrils. I flipped two heads so I will go with the dominant trait. If you happen to get two tails, then you will select the recessive trait, which in this case is three nostrils. My alien is going to have two nostrils. Let's do one more coin toss together before you complete the sheet by yourself.
The next trait we are going to be flipping for is ears. The dominant trait is two ears and the recessive trait is three ears. Here goes the first coin toss. I got tails. I got another tails. What does this mean for my baby alien's ears? Let's refer to our chart. If you flipped one heads and one tails or two heads, your baby alien will have two ears, which is the dominant trait. If, like me, you flipped and got two tails, you will have the recessive trait for ears for your baby alien. In this case, that means three ears. Let's take a look at the genotype column. For ears, we are using the letter R, mostly because we've already used the letter E for eyes. Since I flipped two tails, will I be using one capital R and one lowercase? Two capital R's? Or two lowercase R's? Exactly. I will be using two lowercase r's. Remember, the recessive trait for ears is three. Three ears for my baby alien. Go ahead and complete your handout by filling out all of the empty spots, including in the genotype column and the phenotype column for your baby alien. Then we will put all of the pieces together and create a baby alien masterpiece. Okay guys, as you can see, I have completed my handout. I flipped two coins for each of the traits on the chart, and these were my results. Let's take a look before I show you my drawing. As you can see, I got every different combination of heads and tails at least once in my chart. Several times, I flipped one heads and one tails. In each of these instances, as you will recall, the dominant trait prevails if you flip at least one heads. A few times I flipped two heads. When you flip two heads, the dominant trait prevails. A few times, I also flipped two tails. Let's see what phenotypes I got from my baby alien based on my coin tosses for each trait. My alien has two eyes, two nostrils, three ears, pointy teeth, two arms, five fingers per hand, two legs, three toes per foot. It is a solid color rather than a color with spots. And my alien has hair on its head instead of being bald. What combination of traits did you get for your baby alien?
Here is what my baby alien looks like, based on the coin tosses for each of the traits on the alien genetics handout. This part is going to look very different for everyone. The important thing for this activity is that your drawing reflects the traits that you flipped coins for on your chart. As long as you stay consistent with the traits that you flipped for, anything goes in terms of creativity and how you choose to draw your baby alien. Let's double check and make sure that the traits in my chart match the traits seen in my drawing. My baby alien should have two eyes, two nostrils, three ears, pointy teeth, two arms, five fingers per hand, two legs, three toes per foot. It should be a solid color and not have spots. And it should have hair on its head instead of being bald. What does your baby alien look like? Feel free to send the Lynchburg Public Library a Facebook message with photos of your creation. Thank you again for joining me for our very first virtual session of Summer STEAM. I hope that you enjoyed today's activity and that you will continue to tune in every Thursday at 10.30 a.m. until July 30th for more exciting STEAM videos. Next week, we're going to do a book stacking challenge. It's going to be really fun. Don't miss it, guys. And don't forget to check out our website and Facebook page for more awesome virtual programs. Thank you so much and take care. Bye.